An event intended to bring out families and celebrate New Orleans East is under a bit of a dark cloud because of one of its sponsors. Yeah, Energy, in the midst of the paid actor scandal, donated $1,500 to the event. Kristen Pierce joins us live with details. Kristen? Yeah, Karen and Natalie, this all centers around the paid actor scandal with Intergy New Orleans paying people to attend city council meetings and speak on their behalf and, be and on in favor of the $210 million gas plant. And now an event this weekend is sort of raising questions about one city council person's relationship with the company. Happening this weekend in New Orleans East is Jingle on the Boulevard. It's a family-friendly parade, but surrounded by controversy with Intergy being one of its sponsors. Do you feel that's a conflict of interest? Uh, no. So let me just be very clear. So the energy issues, City Council is addressing that. This event is raising more questions about New Orleans City Council member Cindy Wynn's relationship with Intergy. During Intergy's lobbying push for a $210 million gas plant, her nonprofit, Vietnamese Initiatives and Economic Training, received more than $37,000 from the utility company in the form of a community grant. In the past, Intergy has relied on those community partners for help. A third-party investigator found emails of Intergy officials reminding community partners of the millions of dollars they've donated and asking for assistance. It's in black and white, but Wynn is still skeptical. I can't really comment on that because I'm not Intergy. Yeah. But you're city council with the resolution. Yeah, yeah but again... I don't believe that's true. She was also tight-lipped about a possible revolt. Would you also vote for a revolt for the gas plant? You know, at this point, I haven't really had any thoughts into it. You haven't thought about a revote at all? No. When do you plan to think about the revote? Yeah, I'm. You know, let me just back up. It's always on my mind. You know, as I think about it all the time. I drive by. I live in Willowbrook. I drive by Chef, and so it's always on my mind. Intergy Corporation also released a statement. They say Intergy New Orleans has had a decades-long history supporting the New Orleans community. The assertion that Intergy would support charitable organizations for any reason other than the causes these organizations serve is patently false, offensive, and unfair. And there is a utility committee meeting tomorrow, but Intergy is not on the agenda. Reporting live from the CBD, Kristen Pierce, Eyewitness News.